today, October 9th, figure one, one of the central competitors, or maybe the central competitor for Tesla Optimus, is going to launch or showcase its latest iteration of a humanoid robot. And here's the video they're showing. What does this all mean for Tesla? Should Tesla be concerned? And what does it all mean for us as humans in the age of AGI? Where we see these robots approaching much faster than anyone would have thought possible even 12 months ago. That is what we are discussing in this video. Look at this thing. Very cool design. Should we be concerned, excited, or what is going on? The age of AGI is approaching and we see these amazing, amazing progress being made with companies like Figure One. We also saw that Tesla just showcased a little less fancy, but showcased something where it's Optimus robot here learns Kung Fu. Look at this. There's a Kung Fu trainer and here's Tesla Optimus. And as Elon explained, this is not remote control. This is actually AI. So AI is fully autonomously controlling this robot and getting trained by this Kung Fu master. And look at this, it can stand on a leg, it can kick, it can do all these things. Very importantly, all reactions coming from his brain, from the Optimus brain, and not from any form of remote controller. And I had another video on Monday explaining that we have some leaks from China that actually show that the Chinese supply chain, Tesla Optimus, the humanoid robot version 3, is being supplied from Chinese supply chains because China right now has a total domination for hands, for actuators, for all kinds of little pieces you need for these humanoid robots on the hardware side. So it's all coming from China. And what we saw on Monday, I showed you guys a leak from a supplier document that was circulating in the financial media in China in Chinese. So you need to read Chinese or have ChatGPT like me so you can copy paste it. And what we saw is that on the minimum side, Tesla's actually preparing a supply chain readiness of 70,000 Optimus robots per year starting next year. That is what the supplier requirements show that Tesla demands the ability to deliver 70,000 Optimus worth in pieces. And you have to understand if you have the supply chain ready like this, this is very expensive. You're not doing this for fun and then not producing any robots, right? There are commitments, there are contracts, there are all kinds of things. Of course, we don't know the details because that is highly classified, but these leaks show this is serious business and these robots might be being prepared right now to go into mass production, whatever you call 70,000 a year. I would call this mass production next year. What that indicates, both the figure one announcement today, and we will see how it goes, right? Yeah, I will be very excited to see it. I don't think Figure One has any chance in competing with Tesla on scale, but they are very interesting company to watch. Hey, creating these videos is a lot of work. Please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. Now let's get back to the video. And what Tesla is going to show in the shareholder meeting, Chris Camillo from Dumb Money, Dumb Money is a show. They're actually very smart. They just call it Dumb Money. He said that the shareholder meeting on November 6, the Tesla annual shareholder meeting on November 6 this year, very important, less than a month away, will not just be very important for voting on Elon's compensation package and some other key Tesla votes, but he thinks that Tesla will actually showcase Optimus version 3. Because when you look at the invite, this is literally the invite, look at this. There's a little bit of a hint. If you look close, there's a hint. And the hint is a robot. So are they going to put Optimus 3 here on the invite of the shareholder meeting and then not show anything? Hmm, probably not. And what that means is Tesla is under enormous pressure to deliver on Optimus. Elon is now leading this whole operation. And I have predicted for a long time now that people underestimate the dramatic pace of progress in the humanoid program of Tesla and other companies. Because you have to understand all these seemingly insurmountable obstacles for getting humanoids out. We live in the age of AGI. Maybe you haven't noticed it yet, but AGI already exists. It's already evolving. Go to ChatGPT, go to Lovable, the best company ever invented in my opinion, the coding company. You can do magic things nowadays. And when you think about a hardware development project like a human or robot, all the things you have to do, they are now supported by AI which means all your conventional projections, how long certain things take to design supply chains, to redesign materials, to redesign all these things, 
That is not true anymore. Everything has accelerated by 2x, 3x, 10x, or 1000x from coding to legal, supply chain planning, math, physics, everything has already accelerated very dramatically. You know, often people have to wrap their head around for years and years to understand we live in a new age, but this age is already here. I'm working with these things every day now, and I tell you, it's mind-boggling. I will have a video out tomorrow on NVIDIA and AMD and OpenAI deals. And if we are in an AI bubble or not, spoiler alert, we are not in a bubble. We are in an insane value creation, exponential virtuous cycle. And that hits also the robots. And what that means is I don't think this is wild theories. I think these robots are coming and they're coming next year and they're going to be announced this year. And that's going to be very big for Tesla because people don't understand that this is not in the far distant future. This is happening now. I think in the year 2026, that is the year where people, where everyone will understand the age of AGI is here. Everyone will start to understand that we are now in a completely unprecedented, unparalleled age of transformation. And what I always find fascinating about human robots, I'm a little bit of a contrarian with humanoid robots because a lot of people are super excited. And don't get me wrong, humanoid robots will create hundreds of trillions in value, probably very soon in the next 15 years. But I think they are not the big news. I think humanoid robots are just easy to put into your brain and simulate because humanoid robots are humanoid. They look like humans. And it's very clear, oh God, if these humanoid robots are smarter, better, more agile, more competent than humans, they're going to replace all the jobs. And I agree, they're going to replace all the jobs very soon. But what people get wrong is they are something much bigger than human or robots on all dimensions. And that thing that is much bigger than human or robots is AGI itself. Why is it bigger? Because when you look at human jobs, who creates most of the value in the world? Blue collar jobs, physical labor or intellectual labor? And the answer is intellectual labor generates most of the GDP, not physical labor. Who is the replacement for intellectual labor? Well, it's AGI in the cloud. It's cloud humanoids, right? It's AGI. It is bigger than robots. It is much faster than robots because it's already here and it can move much faster in eating up all the human jobs than robots. So as I said, I don't want to disappoint you in robots. I think people will be positively surprised or shocked by how big robots are. They are much bigger than even the bulls say right now. But what I'm, as, what I'm saying is there is a wave of job destruction and complete value production explosion that is even bigger than robots and even much faster than robots that's happening as we speak, as you and me sit here and watch this, what produce it and you watch it as we speak. What you fantasize about the robot revolution is already reality in the white collar revolution. Now, of course, robots are very important and they're unlocking all these things that where you need robots for, from Mars to mining to all kinds of things. So I'm all for robots and we will need infinite amounts of these robots. But I'm just telling you this amazing, crazy transformation you're expecting from robots that you will get with robots will be small compared to the revolution and transformation you get even before robots starting now. So I can't overemphasize how much of an economic and societal transformation we are going through. Nearly no one has that really on their radar. And if you are watching my channel and some other cutting edge YouTube channels or hanging out on X, maybe you find it ironic that everyone is saying the exact same thing. What I'm saying right now, that everyone says, oh, I'm the only one who understands that no one understands how big this whole thing is. I mean, literally everyone says that, but don't, uh, don't forget, you're watching Joe Bhakti's channel, Pioneerlands. Go to pioneerlands.net. That's where you meet all the people who actually say these things. This is cutting edge here. And the other channels you're watching on YouTube, are probably also cutting edge. And the people on X you're seeing, saying these things are cutting edge. I'm just reading the book of the CEO of Microsoft AI. The coming wave, he says similar things to me, maybe a little less refined. I tell you a little bit more than him, but he says the same things. But don't forget, we are not representative, neither me nor you, of the average human. Most of the average humans have no clue, even in the developed world. And so people are totally not prepared for what's coming because it's not coming in two years or three years or four years. It is coming by Christmas. It is definitely coming at complete scale in Europe and the United States in 2026. We will see a complete evaporation of the labor market. Of course, the governments are trying to fix and you know cheat a little bit on the statistics, but no one cares. If you 
look at it on the ground as in corporate or in startups or in venture, you see what's happening. It is insane what's happening, both on the job elimination side and on the explosion of reality engineering capabilities each of us now has. So crazy things are happening. We are looking at massive economic and societal transformation that will have massively positive effects for us as pioneers, for the people who embrace it and want to shape reality in new ways using our own human interests, desires, our communal, our ability to form better communities that actually have self-governance like pioneer lands. That's why you should go there. But it's also creating great political chaos because a lot of people are unprepared and they can't handle this right now. Our politicians and governments are failing us. That's why, again, we are doing it ourselves in Pioneer Lands. Our educational and media institutions are a total joke at best. I think they are actually malicious, so they're a big problem. And so we are entering and sliding or exponentially accelerating into this chaos. And this is all going to happen, I tell you. The inflection point will be 2026 and 27, where all of this that you right now only hear here on the channel and on some other cool channels. It will be mainstream. It will be discussed on whatever stupid mainstream media channel people are watching. And so my mission here is a little bit to, you know, drum the drums and get you guys fully aware of this because many of you already sense this, right? Many of you have already very intelligent discussions, but we need to come together in pinealens.net. Join us. We create something that I call joint sovereignty, right? We become sovereign individuals. We join forces, we use our brains, and we use these new amazing tools to create the Pioneer Operating System launching latest next week. Where you sign on, you become a reality engineer, and together we are building out all the little pieces we need to take advantage of the situation, to grow our capital base, to build and control our own media so we are not delusional idiots like everyone else consuming this toxic stuff, but we are controlling and building it ourselves to build great communities of pioneers who share the same vision of the future and of course ultimately create self-governance to make sure no one can do stupid stuff and we actually make decisions together in intelligent ways so there's a whole program here i hope uh, you find that interesting join us and you know add your voice to that conversation because it's going to be the most important conversation of our lives anyone's lives probably and i hope to see you there very exciting times, to say the least. The robots are coming, but the AGI is coming faster. We are building Pioneer Lands and making a big difference. So in the next video tomorrow, we are going to discuss the crazy stuff that's going on with OpenAI and NVIDIA and AMD and these circular investments and everyone taking stakes and everyone else and funding these insane data centers. We will discuss if it's a bubble. I told you already it's not a bubble, but we will understand the numbers behind it and we understand the exact deal structure and what this all means for Tesla, for XAI, for NVIDIA, for AMD and for OpenAI to understand this crazy AGI space and its rapid development. So I hope that was interesting. See you very soon.